What would be uh, your advice to the new ambassador, secretary? Well, I think uh, he needs to continue to be tenacious, uh, to continue to promote the quality of American agricultural products in China and the need for China to create greater synchronization with their biotech approval process and continue to work to open up the beef market. I think those are two really critically important aspects of our relationship on agriculture in China. How would you uh, describe the relationship right now that, you, that, that China has with the United States and, in particular, its view uh, on the incoming administration? Somewhat of a paradox. And in one case, uh, in one circumstance, you look at the amount of uh, agricultural products that China purchases, and they are either our number one or two customer. Uh, so obviously, we want to make sure that we maintain that relationship. I'm sure there is some concern uh, about some of the statements that have been attributed to uh, the incoming administration in terms of the relationship with China. Uh, obviously, the issue with Taiwan uh, may have complicated the situation as well. That's why I think the Brandstad appointment may very well be a very good move on the part of the Trump administration because of the relationship and, that the And the question has. is, how, how, how tight is that relationship, and can it withstand comments like uh, the one that Trump made about uh, Taiwan, or, or, or rather the phone call that he, that he had with Taiwan, and uh, perhaps if he's going to label the country a currency manipulator? Well, uh, you know, the Chinese have many options when it comes to purchasing soybeans when it comes to purchasing other agricultural products. Uh, and, and I think that has to be a concern. Uh, it's over a $20 billion market opportunity for us. And it's something that uh, farmers and ranchers absolutely depend on is a good relationship with China in terms of ag trade. Uh, and it's also important for us, I think, to continue to have a stake in all of Asia, uh, which is why it's going to be important to see what the Trump administration does with tra uh, trade agreements uh, with countries uh, involving the TPP trade agreement. That's a, another opportunity for us. Right. Uh, and there's now some serious questions about it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.